Hello friends, in this lesson we shall learn more about motion, specifically using graphs. Say a car is moving on a highway with uniform speed, means it is travelling equal distance in equal intervals. The motion of an object can be represented very simply and precisely with the help of graphs. Here the car was moving with uniform motion. Let us draw the distance time graph. We take time in minutes along the x-axis, 1 cm is equal to 10 minutes and distance in kilometer along the y-axis, 1 cm is equal to 10 km. In this graph, for sake of clarity, there are 5 small units in each centimeter. This means on x-axis one small unit is equal to 2 minutes and on y-axis one small unit is equal to 2 kilometers. But the graphs you plot on the graph paper may typically have 1 centimeter has 10 units. So ensure you draw and read it appropriately. Say the car covers 12 kilometers in 10 minutes means 1 unit equal to 10 centimeter on x axis and look for 1.2 unit which is equal to 12 minutes on y axis. So this is the point A and say it goes 24 kilometer in 20 minutes which is go to 20 minutes and draw the 2.4 so this point B represents that joining these two points we will get a straight line so a graph of uniform speed is a straight line to get distance for any time we just need to look at the graph and find out the value say how much distance does the car go in 30 minutes first we find the 30 minutes on x-axis then we just move up straight from t equal to 30 until we reach the graph then we draw a line parallel to x-axis meeting the y-axis that point will give us the distance as 36 kilometers 10 20 30 plus 3 units which is 2 3 is a 6 so 36 kilometers so the car goes 36 kilometer in 30 minutes we can also find speed from this graph consider a small part of the graph ab draw a line parallel to x-axis from point A and another line parallel to y-axis from point B. These two lines meet each other at point C to form a triangle ABC. So now on the graph AC denotes the time interval T2 minus T1 between these two points while BC corresponds to the distance covered in that time interval that is s2 minus s1 so speed between these two points is equal to distance by time that is equal to s2 minus s1 by t2 minus t1 now let's read the real values from the graph t2 is equal to 80 t1 is equal to 58 so t2 minus t1 equal to 80 minus 58 equal to 22 minutes same way s2 minus s1 equal to 96 minus 70 which is equal to 27 kilometers so speed is equal to 27 by 22 which is equal to 1.22 kilometer per minute or in hours we multiply by 60 so speed is equal to 1.22 into 60 that is equal to 73 kilometer per hour the previous graph was when the car was at uniform speed that is equal distance in equal time interval uniform speed also means zero acceleration but if the car was accelerating the story will be different because its speed is changing so it won't travel same distance in equal time intervals we know when a car is traveling with acceleration a the distance traveled in t seconds is calculated using the formula s equal to ut plus half a t square how will the graph look like it is a quadratic equation so we can easily tell the graph would look like a curve like a parabola so this is the graph of a car that starts with an acceleration of 3 meter per second square the graph is like half parabola this graph rises faster than the graph of a car with uniform motion because this car is gaining more speed and covering more distance in every passing second so its distance is increasing exponentially with time as the speed is increasing. 
that's all in this lesson bye bye